Ready? One. Go. Hi, my name is John Murphy, and I am a broker associate with Remax Results. I work in the western suburbs of the Twin Cities. And today I want to talk to you about short sales, what they are, who qualifies for them, and what the process is. There are many people that are facing hardships today in today's marketplace. They may be upside down their house for a variety of reasons. But I want to explain the short, what short sales are basically is that you're upside down on your property and you're asking the bank to take the note and the mortgage back short. Uh, a lot of banks today are, are releasing the liens in short sales and then depending on the bank they may or may not remove you of that deficiency. You're going to want to make sure that you have a, a qualified real estate agent to help you with that and also make sure that you seek legal counsel as well, that's very critical. I've gone through um, extensive training, I am a certified distressed property expert, I have been trained to be able to help people get through short sales. One of the things we want to look at is who qualifies for a short sale in today's marketplace and what those circumstances might be. And there's a variety of things that happen. It could be that somebody's lost their job, they've lost their income, they've had a business failure, they've got medical debt, health problems, death in the family, divorce. There's a, a lot of different variables that come into play and reasons why people are in the predicaments that they're in. Um, one of the things that when you go through a short sale, what you're going to want to do is you're going to have to demonstrate your hardship. You're going to need to show two years tax returns, a couple of months bank statements, W-2 forms if you have those. If you're employed, you're going to need to show between two and a, a couple of months of income there. Um, you're probably also going to have to, to show your budget and you might have to show a balance sheet. They're going to want to know what is the financial situation of this particular person as they consider um, taking this house back short. As far as the rest of the process goes, you're going to want to list your property with a licensed realtor, preferably somebody who's trained in dealing with short sales. You're going to want to get your home under contract. Obviously, depending on which state you're in, I happen to work in the state of Minnesota, we have a six-month period uh, before the sheriff's sale, and there's a six-month redemption period. So it's a fairly lengthy cycle for the foreclosure process, but we don't want to uh, mess around and take too much time to try to uh, get that home under contract. We want to try to get as much as we can for the property, uh, get negotiate the best we can, get it under contract, and then we submit the file to the bank and ask them to agree to the short sale. What they're going to do is they're going to send out an agent. They're either going to have a, an appraisal done on the property or do a broker's price opinion so that they have some kind of valuation of what they believe the property is worth. Then they'll look at all your financials, your hardship, and make a determination. Just so you know, that typically is going to take somewhere upwards of 60 to 90 days once we have a contract and submit it to the bank. It's going to take them 60 to 90 days to give us an answer back of whether they uh, will accept the short sale, decline the short sale, or counter the short sale. They might want some additional money uh, either from the seller, if the seller can pay, or from the buyer, they might want a higher price for the property. And then it's up to the banks to decide whether they want to take this short or they want to ultimately let that go through to foreclosure. Obviously, it's also up to the seller or not whether they want to accept this agreement. And again, when we get these contracts back and the language comes back from the banks, I do work with a group of attorneys. You are going to, be want, to, talk, you're going to want to talk with them or talk with some other legal counsel to make sure you fully understand the terms that are coming back from the banks when you're looking at a short sale. The other thing is, is as far as the, the, the process goes, this does take some time. If you are currently feeling like you're about to fall behind on your payments, don't wait. If you're already behind on payments, don't wait. You've got to get hustling. You've got to get your home on the market. Let's get it sold. There are a lot of differences between short sales and foreclosures. I will cover that in a future video. And if you have any questions, you can reach me. You can find me at johnmurphyreports.com where I blog about real estate and business in the Twin Cities and across the nation, and also at johnmurphyhomes.com. Thank you.